Now, in addition to being a good filter to use on a per note basis, whether you're enveloping it or perhaps even using things such as velocity or aftertouch from your keyboard to control how the morph and transform settings change, or using it for drones or other slowly evolving filter patterns, the Morpheus makes a great filter to place on an entire mix, particularly since it's stereo and can process left and right simultaneously. You can use it as an effects device, and indeed there are lots of flangers and phase shift presets in here. Or you can use it to do some radical EQ and resonator effects on stereo tracks such as drum loops. Now in my distancing Mark III over here, I've loaded up a stereo drum loop. Let's patch it in. I'm going to change to the null filter. So we pass it through unaltered initially. Grab the left and right outputs. and plug them into the left and right inputs on the Morpheus. Just go ahead and steal that output and plug the left and right outputs into a spare pair of inputs. Let's make sure I've got my channel straight, not that it matters that much, on my output module. So there's my stereo drum loop by Brain, one of my favorite rock drummers. Let's change this first to a typical filter type preset just to show how you can do the famous filtered drum loop stuff you hear on so many dance tracks these days. One I particularly liked was harmonic because you get that really steep low pass effect. You can change the character of the filter. A little bit more peaked, more of a resonator there. But in addition to straight filtering effects, there's some really cool things with tuned harmonics to create bell-like sounds or even musical chords. I'll switch to one of my favorite presets to do this with, number 215 in here. Multi-metric A. It starts off with this very deep comb filter. I can change the transform so that I get some high pass effect even when the frequency is closed all the way down, or I can open it up. What's really fun is I can open up the morph setting and get these nice resonator peaks. Go ahead and actually tune notes on the harmonics in the drum loop. Reducing transform in this patch increases the cue, narrows the notch, and gives me this really peaked sound. Very bell-like there. Oh, that's just rich and lovely. Maybe add a little bit more high-end back in. And if you like that bell-like sound, there are other bell-like patches in here or even a major chord. Let me go down to number 109 here. G major, pull this down for now. Lovely melodic, you can tune it. You can change the inversion. It might even be fun to play from a keyboard to do it in a very tonal, semitone sort of manner. 
like any preset that ends in dot four, you're basically using only four corners of the cube and the transform input is now used for distortion. You'll find on a lot of the patches, increasing distortion really increases the effect of resonance. Kind of changing the decay as a result. So if you get a Morpheus, don't just patch it in like a normal filter, only envelope it and expect it to replace your favorite four pole transistor ladder filter. That's not what it's for. That's not its strength. You can indeed use it as a normal filter, but it's far better to think of it as a processor, providing equalization, flanging, phase shifting, comb filtering, etc. to impose different flavor on top of another sound. 